What is up guys, DZ here, and today I have a very exciting collaboration with one of the hottest up and coming Yugi tubers, Nim Nim himself, who you may know from his excellent vlog sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh videos that have hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. He is killing it right now, and I have invited him to today's video. Introduce yourself, Nim Nim. Thank you for that introduction, Doug. That was very <laughs> thorough. I really appreciate that. I'm ready to look at uh, what we got today. I'm excited. Okay. You, you got me all hyped. Yeah. So today, guys, we're looking at, oh man, this is, I've been storing these for so long. I just wanted to do this video when I had enough of them. Basically, if you guys use Facebook, you might know there's a Facebook marketplace and it is sort of like Craigslist basically, but uh, it does combine like all the, the hilarity of Facebook posts and the hilarity of Craigslist all into one beautiful spot. And on that <laughs> place you can sell anything and one of the things that you can sell is Yu-Gi-Oh cards because that falls under the category of anything and I have been saving let's just say funny Facebook marketplace posts about Yu-Gi-Oh cards and let me just say before we start roasting these people quote-unquote before we laugh at their posts I completely understand that most of these posts are made by people that do not play Yu-Gi-Oh but that's kind of where the hilarity comes from we're not laughing at them we're laughing with them and uh, I think in some of these cases the seller could maybe learn a thing or two about their card prices and that's uh, kind of where some of the hilarity comes from so uh, for example we have this first post and this post looks pretty unassuming it says Yu-Gi-Oh cards 430 of them and you can just see there's like a lot of uh, just a lot of like old cards whenever and it looks like it it's on sale it used to be $120 now it's $100 maybe it wasn't selling as well at $120 dude what do you think this guy's organization strategy was for laying out oh, those man. cards oh <laughs> man Dude, like so got, many like, of these just have people scrap spread jack. cards out on the table. Like, the, I don't know. There's like, some that are like... Oh, why are they good. broken into different numbers? Like, what? <laughs> you've got cards oh, that dude, maybe dude, have... Dude, can you see? Oh, wait, are they're, they're organized in right? attribute. The the easiest way to... Every, don't you organize your uh, cards <laughs> by attribute? That's It's perfect. Yes, I have, like, <laughs> have it's all great. my divide beat one pile. Yeah, no, it's oh. it's that's truly like the biggest brain way of organizing cards. But then <laughs> when I went to the description, <laughs> I saw that it had he's listing some of like the high end cards that he has. So he has two blue eyes, okay, one red eyes, sure. But then I noticed, <laughs> I noticed that it said that he had one Caius the Shadow Monarch in this huge pile of cards on his kitchen table with no sleeves. He said he had a forty eight dollar. Caius the Shadow Monarch, and there is Ooh. an expensive Caius, right? There's the ultimate rare. Um, Gage, can you tell me what this picture looks like? A structured deck Caius. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I saw this, and I, I felt so bad for him because if he's valuing this lot at $120 and then $100, thinking he has a $50 card in there, like what do you think this poor guy will think when he learns he has? I looked up this card. It's 28 cents, which is a little short of that $48. And I just, uh, it's just uh, an excellent lesson in uh, learning what a rarity is before you try to like sell your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You know what this, this guy, this guy is the kid that has never opened a foil from a pack before. What do so you mean? Like, he has a, he a Destiny Hero double D right there. Every... <laughs> <laughs> he has I was a... going to say, he probably lost his mind at every common card he flipped through and thought everything, like he read on TCG Player, it said Ultimate Rare, and he's like, yeah, all my cards are Ultimate Rare. They're old as heck. <laughs> so, so this is, it says Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> all caps, and it's it's $30, and on the, it's is a little binder. Is that a binder. giant card? It's, it's, a, giant it's a card? printer Did paper a printout. <laughs> And it's in Japanese and it's folded. So like <laughs> thirty dollars, that's a steal. Well, you say that, but then I go to the next picture. I don't think there's any other cards in this binder. I think it's just the only <laughs> I think it's only those four. <laughs> because <laughs> Did he... I'm looking at this and like what it really doesn't that... look like this. What is that growing there? What is that? Oh, that's just some kind of uh, mold. <laughs> from the last time you played Yu-Gi-Oh. Why did she show it off? Why not just like clean it or something oh, before man. taking a picture of it? I liked how this was displayed. Look at this. This person looks like they oh, went wow. to a parking lot with three binders of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and they, they set it up really <laughs> nice. But they have a pencil case full of cards too. <laughs> what cards are these? They're Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. <laughs> Did you try? Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, everyone knows the Yaiguo. Yaiguo cards. But did you look yeah, at the man. price? You don't $250 for, uh, <laughs> for bulk commons. 
man, those uh, those binders must be made of gold. And right. I know these I know these numbers are a joke, but it is listed for like a hundred thousand dollars. But he just put that in there. But it says random blue eyes question mark. That question mark is very important because in the description it says this is like a Facebook post, but on the marketplace because it says. So what's up with this blue eyes? Got it at a garage sale, but never seen this before. Comma I question mark. It's like <laughs> maybe he's just he maybe he's lost. Like he didn't find the forums or Zodiac. He's just like I don't have anybody to ask this to. Couldn't he he's have asked the person at the garage sale? These people. I just feel so bad. Like it, the all the cards. Can you imagine like Konami executives like being like, okay, we're gonna put like how to find these cards. It's gonna be right there. It has a set number right there next to the artwork so that no one will ever have any confusion. And then like still these people are like, yeah, I have an old Caius and oh, what where is this from? Like I don't know. Maybe just look it up for like two seconds. So this is a uh, dark magician ultra rare holographic and it's listed for uh, five hundred dollars. Um, this yeah, is that seems the. <laughs> Oh, well, hold on, hold on. I thought I had a second picture. Okay, so I zoomed in on this picture just for the record. This is the version from, like, the, the Yugi and Kaiba pack. Uh, do you want to give a, a guess how much that card is worth compared to this $500? 75 cents or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's about $1. <laughs> it's oh. like, uh, I think what ha if I had to take a guess what happened here, it's, uh, it's probably, like, you remember those videos where it would say, like, your petite moth is actually worth like a hundred and fifty dollars or oh, one like thousand. the BuzzFeed videos. Yeah, I, I guarantee yeah, like that this is what videos. this came from. Um, or maybe how much? It probably is. That's probably how close like the the DDS Dark Magician is. I know that that's pretty expensive. So it's probably like something along those lines. It's just like I don't know. I feel so bad for people that just don't know how to look up. Like there's so many printings of Dark Magician, so many printings of Blue Eyes that it's like. Can you just take like two seconds? Like, look up which which set it's from. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh cards spelled correctly. Two dollars. Uh, this is the only picture they included. <laughs> uh, so it's just the back of like I don't even like seven commons or something. Oh, I don't even know. This could be anything. This could be a five hundred dollar dark mission. But these are Yu-Gi-Oh cards, just in case we <laughs> we got it mixed up at all. Imagine if you like ask him what they are, and he's just like they had a different side or something like that, or like <laughs> there's they do a something front different. There's a front of these cards? I was thinking like, that uh, <laughs> it was like uh, he thinks that Yu-Gi-Oh cards are like the regular playing cards that they're all like predetermined. Uh, so it's like, <laughs> there's, this is like, well, they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> Obviously, duh, like you're so stupid. This says unopened Yu-Gi-Oh packs, 1996 for $100, three or five, sorry, three, I can't count at all. Five copies of Legacy of the Darkness. Konami at this point had a different logo on the pack. <laughs> So, oh wait, yeah, the okay. old Konami logo is like the little checkered flag one, and this doesn't have that. So yeah. these are not Yu-Gi-Oh packs from 1996. These are Yu-Gi-Oh packs from the first Legendary collection. So these are worth about oh, you're all studied up. five dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's because uh, a lot of those mystery power boxes they say that they have um, like legacy packs in them, but actually they're just Legendary collection packs. So that's how they like artificially increase the value. But one of the way there's like a, lot, a lot of ways you can tell on the front of the pack. But one of the easiest things to tell with these old packs is if they have the the current Konami logo, then they're not actually old packs. And also the original old packs had uh, Upper Deck's logo on them as well because Upper Deck like owned half the company or whatever. This is some like next level stuff here because this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Cyber Dark Impact Repack Booster Pack Common Rare Holographics. Just a whole what bunch does of that stuff. Even yeah, so I don't know if you can see, see in the picture what this guy was selling. I'm <laughs> he opened a bunch of Cyber Arc Impact packs, right? And now he is through the, his own grace willing to put the cards back in the packs and sell them to us for just three dollars a pack. Oh, so he was just like, I don't like he would he <laughs> would he open them just for the thrills and be like okay that was the fun part now he's got to put them back together yeah like he doesn't actually keep the cards well, he just opens them. well you can see that he pulled aside like the the hollows like there's a lightning punisher ultimate rare and what he said in the description i remember is that you have a guaranteed hollow for every eight packs you buy so it looks like he's just giving you back like his bulk and then like you get like a garbage ultimate rare i think you see you trying to scam people i like to think about it my way <laughs> you you don't like think this guy's trying to scam way. people 
No, he you think just he just wanted the enjoyment? Of, no. <laughs> yeah, he just wants that rush of serotonin of opening the packs. And right. then he wants to seal them up. Yu-Gi-Oh card, mint conditions, and it's $400. And, uh, you know, by itself, I mean, besides the fact that that shoebox full of garbage commons is not worth $400, what I thought was specifically funny about this post is that it said mint conditions, and the cards are uh, kept together with rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> and uh in sandwich bags what Stop are the kidding. cards in the sleeve there can you i can make a messenger of peace what, and then you have a there? a rare elemental mistress dorado or whatever and then you have two normal monsters so uh i guess if oh, one okay. of those normal monsters is a uh, a dds blue eyes this would probably oh yeah, be worth 400 dollars. What, what is that little above the green deck box what is that little they, i was gonna thing? ask that what what do you think is in there is like, that like paint like, is that for, I don't know. Like, what, it's what included in, in the box, box with a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What liquid belongs in a box with you? Dude, I don't know. I should message him. What's that? What's that little uh, little cylinder thing? Like, is that is that Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I actually have no. I missed that the first time I took this picture. I've have, I have no clue what that is. But good old shoebox. And then I'll go to the last one, which just it just made me laugh because uh, the picture in the last one. And this isn't. It's not. It's not that it's not loading. Like, this picture is literally, like, this blurry. <laughs> and <laughs> to me, it looked like someone... <laughs> You know that that meme where it's like the kids throw the Yu Yu cards up in a ceiling fan and it like goes around yeah, the room. Yeah. To me, it looked like they did that and then they like snapped a photo and like their hands were shaking. I remember, it's, Doug. It's not me, Gi Oh cards. It's Yu Gi Oh cards. Yu -Gi -Oh cards. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for today's video. Reading all these hilarious Facebook Marketplace postings about Yu Gi Oh cards. Once again, we are not making fun of these people, just that they don't know a lot about Yu Gi Oh and their posts are kind of funny to someone that knows a little bit about Yu Gi Oh. Thank you so much for Nim Nim for joining me in this great video. Make sure you go check out his channel. I will put a link in the description. His content is uh, well above anyone else posting videos right now, so make sure to go look it up. Anyway, though, we'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.